What's up everyone? Barrett's over here, founder of RSP. We're here with Sam Broderson today to look at the phase one of his off-season program, which is a one by 20 program. So he'll be, we'll be following him around, getting his thoughts on it, and explaining why we're using one by 20 to start his off-season with. As the name states, one by 20, we're doing one set of 20 repetitions uh, for each exercise. So his workout has either like 19 or 20 exercises in it. We're gonna have a 30 second break between each exercise, so it's gonna be pretty constant with the movement. Uh, we're looking to start with about 50% of a one rep max, just to give an idea about the weight or the intensity of each exercise. We're gonna start with that weight and try to progress. This is week one for him, so he's gonna to try to have a little bit left in the tank. After each set, it shouldn't be like he's gassed and uh, he's doing a 20 rep max each set. So that's where we are with Sam right now, and you can see that uh, after the first three exercises, uh, those are the three hardest, so you get pretty gassed right off the bat, and then it eases up a little bit. One of the things that Sam's doing really well that you'll see is focusing on a large range of motion uh, throughout the, the exercise. If we're doing the exercise properly, and like for instance with the row, we're getting a big reach, we're getting a big retraction, then we are training mobility along with um, the muscular capacity, muscular endurance with the one by 20. So that's a really big thing to focus on. Um, not get the, let, or take the ego out of the way, don't ego lift and get that full range of motion throughout the 20 reps. It also sucks a lot more. It's a lot easier to do the shorter reps uh, and take that shortcut. But if you're pushing yourself, it's very beneficial uh, from a movement standpoint. One of the other benefits of the one by 20 program is we should be getting more blood flow to connective tissue. So when we say connective tissue, we mean tendons and ligaments, which usually do not have much blood flow at all. So if we have a pitcher that's coming off season, obviously we get more blood flow to something like your UCL um, or any of the joints that are worn out from, from the long season, that's gonna be very beneficial. For the overall layout of the program, uh, we start off with more of the compound type lifts, which is why the beginning is hard. Um, and then we get into more single joint exercises like the bicep curls, tricep extensions. And then at the end, we'll throw in uh, two or three full body exercises. Uh, I like to just end pretty much any session with our athletes on some full body triplanar movements. Um, so we're not just stuck in kind of a bilateral sagittal plane type deal, um, but we're getting and moving a ton before we leave the gym. So obviously working in the 20 rep range, we're gonna be more on the muscular endurance and hypertrophy side of things. There's also been some anecdotal research that this is really good for people coming off injury. Because the weight is light enough where you're not gonna uh, potentially injure yourself um, with something as you're getting back into an exercise for a body part, uh, but you are getting so many reps and you are building that area up. Uh, so that's again another benefit of, of doing the one by 20s. One thing I've noticed about doing this workout and program on myself for the last two weeks, again, one person and only two weeks, but tracking my uh, recovery and my HRV and my whoop band, both have gone up uh, significantly. Like I'm getting a lot higher HRV scores um, than I normally have in the past. And I've had some days where I haven't slept that long, but been 90, 92% recovered, uh, where I'm alternating this with a light recovery day where it's basically focused on a zone two cardio walk for 30 minutes and uh, just some light mobility circuits um, that are done at a low level of intensity. So um, interested to see how that plays out too for some of our guys, if we can track that, uh, to see if there is a, a bigger effect on um, being able to increase that HRV and or increase recovery. So I really like having these two full body exercises at the end where we look at the Viper lateral lunge with chop uh, and then the cable single leg squat with one arm row. We're working some of the fascia slings there and we're having to concentrate very hard um, when we're really, really fatigued to do the exercises right. We're gonna want to stay out of the deeper ranges of motion because it makes it a lot harder, even though the weight really isn't an issue. Um, and then something like here where we want him on one leg and we want a good hinge and then we want good hip extension, uh, which he's doing every time, even though he's very fatigued. Uh, I think that's gonna play huge benefits uh, in whatever you do, whether it's we're working on his pitching just what just for the base we're building for later this off season for what we're trying to do in the gym so uh, that's why we end with those two things at the end all right sam one by 20s what you got very challenging probably i would say probably one of the tougher things i've had to do in my career like in terms of training and preparing for the season i mean it's as much of a mental grind as it is physical just like 20 reps is so much and when you're under that bar you're throwing the weight around you get to rep 12, rep 15, and you just want to call it, but 
20 is just crazy. It's, it's a very tough workout, very tough. So this is your third day doing it now. It's Friday, we did it Monday, we did it Wednesday. How is it different since you started on Monday? I mean, I think my body's just adapted to it better. Like after, I mean, I could barely get through it Monday. I had to take way too much time in between workouts. And then I'm, I was laying down in another room for 20 minutes after I finished. And Wednesday got a little bit easier. Today got a little bit easier. I was able to re recover better and catch my breath a little bit easier. So I got two more weeks of it, I think. I'm on a pretty good path right now. Yeah, so week one, our goal is to get them basically to this point. We're not worried about the weight really at all. It's about getting down to that 30 second break in between each exercise and, and continuously moving through it. And then next week, we'll really encourage them to add some weight. Again, we're doing 20 reps. Like if you add two and a half pounds each side, it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So uh, little improvements over time, but I think the cool thing about it, like we talked about zone two cardio, like the first time you do this, it's like death halfway through it. Yeah. And then by the third time you do it, you're like, okay, like it sucks, but I'm kind of getting there. Definitely, yeah, absolutely.